this is Shravanti, working as assistant professor, Department of Chemistry in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about gaseous spheres, composition, characteristics and applications of natural gas, LPG and CNG. So gaseous sphere, so what is the meaning of fuel? So during burning process, uh, fuel in the presence of oxygen, it produces heat energy. The fuel reacts with the atmospheric air or oxygen, then produce combustion product and also releases energy. The heat energy used for domestic and industrial purpose is called fuels. So based on physical state, these fuels are classified into three types, solid, liquid, gaseous fuels. So previous classes already we discussed us what is solid fuel, what is liquid fuel. How can we classify it? How can we purify this uh, uh, liquid fuels uh, by fractional distillation? So, all we discussed in previous classes. Now, let's discuss gaseous fuels. So, gaseous fuels are obtained either naturally or by the treatment of solid or liquid fuels. So, these fuels are obtained naturally or the treatment of solid or liquid fuels. So, these fuels are those which are burned in gaseous state. These gaseous spheres burn in gaseous state in the presence of oxygen or atmospheric air. So then it produces heat energy. Gaseous spheres burned in gaseous state in the presence of oxygen or air to produce heat energy. So that energy is used for uh, domestic as well as industrial purpose, that means commercial sector. We are using this heat energy, domestic as well as industrial purpose we are using. So among the natural occurring gaseous fuels, natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas are most important. So in this gaseous fuels, most important is natural gas and LPG, liquefied petroleum gas is most important in this liquid fuels. So the ga these gases have high calorific value. So, what is the meaning of calorific value? How much amount of heat liberated when a unit mass of fuel is burning? So, that is called calorific value. So, good fuel always it contains high calorific value. If in case this fuel contains high percentage of carbon, it increases calorific value. So, here this gaseous fuels that means the uh, main important is here uh, natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas. These are most important than these gases are having high calorific value. And gaseous fuels are having lower energy. These gaseous fuels have lower energy than uh, liquid fuels such as petrol and diesel. Compared to these liquid fuels, that means uh, for example, uh, petrol, diesel, compared to these liquid fuels, these gaseous fuels are, are having less energy. And these gaseous fuels are potentially more deserved fuels. These fuels are potentially more deserved fuels as they produce very low greenhouse, very low greenhouse gases. That means less emission of carbon dioxide, take off friendly. So these are produced very low greenhouse upon burning and hence air quality benefits are obtained compared to conventional and petrol and diesel petrol. So compared to these fuels, uh, these uh, gases fuels are produced less emission of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases. So do not cause such environmental pollution. Eco-friendly fuel, this is called gases fuel. So best example is natural gas, CNG, compressed natural gas. Uh, these are the primary fuels. So generally these gases fuels are classified into two types, primary and secondary. That means primary fuels, it is they are obtained from nature. Best example is natural gas. And secondary fuels, these are obtained from primary fuels. Here, example, coal gas or water gas. So based on physical state, these fuels are again classified into subclassified into three types: solid, liquid, gaseous. So here gaseous fuels means uh, fuels burn in gaseous state in the presence of oxygen or air to produce heat energy. So this energy is used for domestic as well as industrial purpose. And this energy is having high calor produces high calorific value. This energy, they are, these gases are having high calorific value. 
so in this uh, mainly we discussed about natural gas natural gas is the best example of a primary gaseous fuel natural gas is the best example of primary gaseous fuel so these are obtained from under the earth crust the plants and animal materials buried under the earth crust in million of years in absence of a uh, then it converts to the fossil fuels so based on that uh, this physical state we can divide it into three types solid liquid gaseous so in this gaseous fuels we discussed about this natural gas uh, so here natural gas is primarily composed of methane it containing main component is methane so with a small amount of other hydrocarbons so other hydrocarbons means such as uh, ethane propane butane so it also contains trace elements of uh, like uh, nitrogen carbon dioxide and sometimes sulfur compounds also present in this natural gas so natural gas is the best example of primary gaseous fuel it composed of <coughs> main constituent is methane and also it contain other hydrocarbons such as ethane propane butane and also it contain small amount of uh, traces of nitrogen carbon dioxide and some, sometimes sulfur compounds also it uh, present in this uh, natural gas so it's present it main contain main component is methane so methane is a primary component of natural gas so it typically make up around 70 to 90% of its composition so in this natural gas it containing main component is methane so how much percent is present in this natural gas 70 to 90% methane present this is the main component in this natural gas it is highly efficient and clean burning fuel completely burning fuel it is clean burning fuel and next second one is ethane so ethane is the another hydrocarbon present in natural gas is present in natural gas so typically it is comprising of 5 to 15% of in the mixture so 70 to 90% of methane present in this natural gas and ethane is the 5 to 15% present in this natural gas and next one is propane and butane so these heavier hydrocarbons are found in smaller quantities so these uh, hydrocarbons present is more very small quantities that means uh, after making up less than 5% of natural gas it present in this only 5% in natural gas and also it is present some traces of nitrogen carbon dioxide and sometimes sulfur also present a very little amount in this natural gas so best example is here so this natural gas is the primary gaseous fuel it uh, what is how can uh, what is the composition of natural gas it containing main component is methane uh, it's present in this natural gas is uh, 70 to 90 percentage of methane present in this natural gas and also present other hydrocarbons such as ethane uh, propane butane also so ethane present in this uh, 5 to 15 percent in this mixture and propane uh, butane is present only 5% in this mixture and uh, remaining components uh, contain traces of uh, uh, nitrogen carbon dioxide and some su sometimes sulfur compounds present in this natural composition mixture a uh, very small amount this percentage present in this natural gas <coughs> so what are the characteristics of natural gas it is a clean burning fuel clean burning so natural gas is considered a clean burning fuel because it uh, it less harmful to the environment than coal petrol or diesel uh, it has less carbon dioxide emissions so this natural gas is a clean burning fuel it containing main component is methane so it is a clean burning fuel and it is uh, less harmful for the environment compared to solid or liquid uh, gases for example coal petrol diesel compared to that this uh, natural gas is less harmful to the environment that means it produces less emission of carbon dioxide compared to solid liquid fuels it produces less emission of carbon dioxide that means eco friendly compared to solid liquid fuels so it is a clean burning fuel 
and second one is high energy density so it has high energy content per unit volume making it an efficient fuel for various applications so it has high energy density so we are using uh, so many application purpose we are using this natural gas and third one is it is lighter than air so natural gas is lighter than air so it tends to rise and disappears into the atmosphere if it escapes so this natural gas is lighter than air so it is rise and disappears into the atmosphere if it escapes and next one is colorless and odorless so this uh, while methane itself it is a colorless and odorless and distinctive odorant distinctive odorant is added for easy detection of in case of leak leaks that means here this uh, natural gas is uh, generally it is a uh, colorless odorless but in leakage cases we can identify that purpose we are adding some uh, uh, distinct fit odorant that means usually mercaptan we are using this is uh, some uh, some odor it gives some odor to this natural gas it is useful for uh, in case of leakages so generally is a original nature of its natural gas is it is colorless odorless so if in case any leakage easily we can identify that purpose we are adding some additive distinctive odorant we are adding that is such a, as a mercaptan we are added for this is uh, what purpose we are adding this uh, additives it is added for uh, easy detection in case of leakages and versatility that means flexible we can use so many applications so this natural gas it is a versatile energy source used for various applications uh, so from heating and uh, electricity generation and industrial process and transportation so many ways we are using this natural gas so what are the characteristics of natural gas it is clean burning it containing main component is uh, methane so it is a clean burning fuel it produces less harmful it produces less emission of carbon dioxide so it is less harmful to the environment than uh, solid and liquid fuels such as coal petrol diesel so it is eco friendly and second one is high energy density so it is having high energy density so it is efficient fuel for various applications and third one is it is lighter than air so it rises to and disappears into the atmosphere if it is escapes and next one is colorless and odorless generally it is available in nature it is colorless and odorless but we um, easily we can identify it from the leakages that purpose we are adding some additives such as uh, mercaptan it has uh, it contains uh, faint colors it is useful for identification of uh, detection of in case of leakages and versatility uh, we are using so many applications this natural gas because it is having versatile energy source so what purpose we are using this gas uh, from he for heating purpose and electricity generation and in industrial process and transportation also we are using this natural gas most preferable fuel in this gaseous fuel and actually discuss applications so it is mainly used for electricity generation so natural gas is powerful plants or major source of electricity globally it is mainly used for electricity generation so it is used in this uh, power plants are a major source of electricity globally and next one is heating it is commonly used for residential and commercial heating either directly or through central heating systems so this natural gas is used for heating for residential and commercial heating purpose also and next one is industrial process so many industries use this natural gas as a fuel for process such as metal smelting glass production and chemical manufacturing so we are using this natural gas so this natural gas is used for industrial purpose such as uh, metal smelting glass production process and chemical manufacturing purpose we are using this natural gas and also used for transportation 
So compressed natural gas. This natural gas is compressed and stored in cylinder that is called compressed natural gas. So this compressed natural gas and the see here transportation compressed natural gas CNG and LPG liquefied natural gas are used as a alternative fuels for vehicles. So come transportation purpose we prefer this uh, natural gas. Uh, for example, compressed natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas, these two are the best example of this natural gas. Uh, these two are uh, used as a alternative fuels for vehicles. And cooking purpose also we are using this natural gas. So in homes and restaurants, in homes and restaurants, natural gas is popular choice for cooking due to its clean and efficient combustion. Clean and efficient combustion. So next one is fertilizers production. So this natural gas is a key feedstock for the production of ammonia and crucial component in fertilizer manufacturing. So these are the applications of natural gas mainly used for electricity generation and also used for heating. Uh, this is used for domestic and residential and commercial heating purpose we are using and also used in this industrial uh, industrial process also. Many industries use this natural gas as a fuel. Uh, for example, such as uh, melt, metal smelting, glass production and chemical manufacturing. So in this case, we are using this, uh, this natural gas and also use it for transportation purpose. These uh, compressed natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas used as a fuel in this uh, uh, for vehicles. And next one is cooking. It is used for uh, used in homes and restaurants. So this natural gas is a popular choice for cooking due to its clean and efficient combustion. It is a clean burning fuel and it produces less emission of carbon dioxide. And next one is fertilizer production also we are using this natural gas. So next one is uh, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. Liquefied petroleum gas. So this LPG is a mixture of hydrocarbon gases. It is a mixture of hydrocarbon gases. The two main components of LPG are propane and butane. Propane and butane. So it is obtained, generally it is obtained as a byproduct during fractional distillation. During fractional distillation of crude petroleum. So already we discussed previous class in liquid uh, gases. So, so fractional distillation. Fractional distillation means separation of various fractions present in this crude petroleum. Generally, this fuels all are obtained under the earth crust. So it is available in the form of, uh, that means it containing so many impurities and so many other elements also present in this. So all we can remove all the impurities present in this crude petroleum and separation of various fractions uh, such as uh, petrol, diesel, kerosene, naphtha, natural gas, LPG, CNG, etc. So all these uh, fractions separated by using this fractional column. The process is called fractional distillation. So here also this LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, it is also obtained as a byproduct during fractional distillation of crude petroleum oil. It is obtained as a uh, fraction during fractional distillation of crude petroleum oil or by cracking of heavy oil, the breaking of heavy oils, in this case also we obtain this uh, natural gases fuels, LPG that means here. So it is obtained as a byproduct during fractional distillation of crude petroleum. And one more method is cracking of heavy oils. In this case also we obtain, uh, we are manufacturing petrol, uh, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. So it consists of main components are propane and butane. So liquid petroleum gas, it is a mixture of hydrocarbon gases and it containing main components is propane and butane. And here it is obtained as a byproduct during fractional distillation process of crude petroleum and also we obtained uh, by cracking of heavy oils. So it can be readily liquefied under pressure. It is readily liquefied 
under pressure so it can be economically stored and transported in cylinder see this image here it is clearly shows that it is uh, it can be readily liquefied under pressure so it can be economically stored and transported in cylinders so the average composition of lpg is uh, n butane it is a composition of propane and butane so average composition of uh, this lpg is n butane it's present in this lpg the percentage is 38.5 and isobutane it's uh, present 37 percentage in this uh, liquid petroleum gas or in this mixture and propane it's 24.5 percentage present in this mixture so liquid petroleum gas it is a mixture of hydrocarbons it containing main components are propane and butane butane is present in average composition so it's present n butane is a 38.5 isobutane is the 37 and also it's present propane its percentage is 24.5 in this mixture so what are the characteristics of lpg what are the characteristics of LPG? So, first one is gaseous to liquid state. Gaseous to liquid state. So, LPG exists as a gas at room temperature. LPG exists as a gas at room temperature. And atmosphere pressure but can be easily liquefied under moderate temperature, moderate pressure. So, this gaseous to liquid state. Generally, this liquefied petroleum gas LPG, it exists as a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. At room temperature and atmospheric pressure, it exists as a gas, but it can be easily liquefied at moderate pressure. Only atmospheric pressure, it is gaseous state. It exists in gaseous state. And moderate pressure, it is liquefied. It is easily liquefied under moderate pressure. The next one is colorless and odorless. So like natural gas, LPG also, it is a colorless and odorless in nature, natural state. Naturally, it is colorless and odorless. But how can we identify this natural gas? So that purpose only we are adding some uh, adherent that is um, adherent is added for leakage for detection by captain for example. It gives some uh, smell for it is useful for uh, leakages. So generally these are available in nature these are having uh, colorless and odorless. So that purpose we are adding some uh, odorant is added for leak detection purpose. And next high energy density. So LPG has a high energy content. So making it an efficient fuel for various applications. It is also a high density content. That's why we are using so many uh, applications. And clean burning. So it produces fewer pollutant compared to traditional fuels. It produces little or small amount of pollutants compared to uh, traditional fuels contributing to cleaner combustion process and portable so lpg can, can be easily transported and stored in containers it can be easily transported and stored in containers making it suitable for different applications versatile applications we are using so what are the characteristics of lpg it is uh, available gaseous state, it exists in gaseous state at uh, room temperature and atmospheric pressure, but it is easily liquefied under moderate pressure. And it is colorless, odorless in natural state. So that purpose we are adding some odorant for uh, detection of leakages. Generally we are, use, we are adding mercaptan. And it is having high energy density, that's why we are using uh, versatile applications. And it is a clean burning fuel. It produces less emission of pollutants during burning process. And it is a portable. So it can be easily transported and stored in containers that is used in versatile applications. So what are the applications of LPG? Liquefied petroleum gas. It is used for cooking. Already we know that they are all... Uh, or we are using at our homes. So LPG is widely used for cooking in households. 
and also used in restaurants and commercial kitchens. We are using the worldwide most demanded fuel. We are using for mainly cooking purpose. Uh, all houses we are using this uh, fuel, liquefied fuel, LPG. We also used in uh, mainly cooking in households, uh, restaurants, uh, and commercial kitchens. We are using for cooking purpose. This uh, we prefer LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. Heating purpose. It serves as a popular fuel for space heating. It is. It serves as a popular fuel for space heating and water heating in residential and commercial settings. Residential and commercial settings. And next one is automotive fuel. So already we know that LPG is used as a fuel for vehicles. LP is used as a fuel for vehicles, particularly in areas where it's more economical or as an uh, alternatively to traditional gasoline or diesel. Nowadays, most preferable fuel it is used instead of uh, uh, gasoline, petrol or diesel fuels. In some of the metro cities, they are using this uh, fuel as in automobiles instead of this uh, re replacement of gasoline and diesel. Industrial process. So LPG is utilized in various industrial process. Uh, industrial process. It's including uh, metal cutting. It's including metal cutting and heating in manufacturing. So we are using in this uh, liquefied petroleum gas in some of the industrial purpose also. Uh, we are using this and next refrigeration. So here refrigeration means is LPG is used in adsorption. This LPG is used in absorption refrigeration systems. Absorption refrigeration systems. So it providing a source of heat for the refrigeration cycle. And next one, agriculture. So this LPG is employed in agriculture tasks, agriculture for tasks such as crop drying and pest control. Crop drying and pest control. So that purpose also we are using this uh, gas in this agriculture point of view. So what are the applications of LPG? Mainly used for cooking uh, in households, uh, restaurants and commercial kitchens we are using and also used in this heatings in residential and commercial places also. Uh, next automotive fuel. It is used as an automotive fuel in vehicles uh, instead of petrol and diesel nowadays we are preferred and also used in industrial application point of view. So that purpose, for example, metal cutting and heating in manufacturing. And next refrigeration process we are using and agriculture also we are using uh, for tasks such as uh, drying of crops or pest control purpose. We are using this liquefied petroleum gas. The next one is CNG, compressed natural gas. So the CNG is primarily composed of methane. It contains, it is similar to natural gas only. So this compressed natural gas, it is primarily composed of methane. It is similar to natural gas. It is similar to natural gas. So methane makes up a significant portion of CNG. So typically around 95% or more. So it may also contain small amount of other hydrocarbons uh, such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide and traces of impurities also is present. So CNG, compressed natural gas, it contains main component is methane and it is uh, similar to natural gas. It is compressed and stored in cylinder that is called compressed natural gas. So it containing main component is methane and also it containing other hydrocarbons and also it contains small traces of nitrogen, carbon dioxide and uh, other impurities present in this uh, composition of compressed natural gas. So this natural gas contains mainly methane. Where this na when natural gas is compressed at high pressure, that is 1000 atmosphere pressure. This natural gas is compressed at 1000 atmosphere pressure and cooled to minus 160 degree centigrade temperature. So it converted to CNG. It is stored in cylinder that is usually made up of steel. So it is similar to natural gas only, but this natural gas is compressed at 1000 atmosphere pressure and cooled at minus 160 degree centigrade temperature and stored in cylinder. 
that is converted. So in this case, it converted to uh, compressed natural gas. This natural gas compressed and stored in cylinder. That's why it is called compressed natural gas. So it is similar to same uh, natural gas only. So it containing main component is methane and other hydrocarbons and also it contains small percentage of nitrogen carbon dioxide and uh, some of the traces of impurities also present in this composition of compressed natural gas. So it is now replacing gasoline. It is now replacing gasoline as it releases less pollutant, less emission of carbon dioxide during its combustion. So nowadays we are using this uh, uh, as a fuel in this automobiles, uh, auto, what do you case in this case, because uh, it produces less emission of carbon dioxide, do not cause such environmental pollution. So that's why we prefer uh, instead of this uh, gasoline, because it releases less uh, pollutant during its combustion. So in some of the metro cities, CNG vehicles are used to reduce pollution. Some of the metro cities we prefer the CNG vehicles because of it produces less emission compared to other solid liquid fuels like petrol or diesel. That's why this is the most important preferable automobile fuels. So what is the average composition of CNG as follows? So here clear, uh, it contains main component is methane. So average composition of methane in this uh, CNG is 88.5 percentage, 88.5 and other uh, hydrocarbons also present in this that is ethane, propane, butane, pentane. So how much percentage of ethane present in this uh, CNG? 5.5, propane 3.7, butane 1.8 and pentane 0. 5 percentage present in this compressed natural gas. So this uh, CNG is similar to natural gas and it containing main component is methane and also it's present other hydrocarbons such as ethane, propane, butane, pentane and also it's present other uh, impurities and traces elements such as uh, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and other impurities also present in this uh, composition of compressed natural gas. So, so it is similar to natural gas means it is compressed at high temperature, high atmosphere pressure that is 1000 atmosphere pressure and cooled at minus 160 degree centigrade temperature. Then converted to CNG, generally it is stored in cylinder. And so cylinder is generally made up of steel. So what are the characteristics of CNG? So first one is gaseous state. So, CNG is stored and transported as a compressed gas. CNG is stored and transported as a compressed gas. Typically at pressure of 3000 to 3600 pounds per square inch PSI. <coughs> and clean burning fuel. So, CNG is considered a clean fuel, clean burning fuel compared to traditional fuel such as uh, gasoline, diesel or uh, emitting fewer pollutants. It produces uh, fewer pollutants and greenhouse gases during combustion. So compared to other solid liquid fuels, uh, this gaseous fuel that means CNG is a uh, clean burning fuel and it produces less emission of carbon dioxide. It produces less emission of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases during its combustion. So, so that's why we most preferred fuel compared to solid and liquid fuels and colorless and odorless. So already we know that this gaseous fuels or natural gas or LPG or CNG generally available in natural nature there is doesn't have any color and odor. So like natural gas methane itself colorless odorless but an adorant is often added for leak detection. So generally we are using mercaptan used as a adherent because uh, it is used for uh, prevent from uh, leakages or uh, leak detection purpose we are adding some additives like uh, mercaptan because these gases are available in nature without uh, doesn't containing any color and order and high energy content. 
So this uh, compressed natural gas has high energy content per unit volume. So that's why we prefer most various applications. And lighter than air. So in case of leakages, CNG is lighter than air and it tends to disappear rapidly and reduces the risk of accumulation in confined spaces. So the main advantage is lighter than air. So in case of leakages, so CNG is lighter than air, so it tends to easily disappear, uh, it disappears rapidly and reducing the risk. So these are the characteristics of natural gas, uh, compressed natural gas. So all are same, similar to natural gas only, but what is the difference? It is a uh, compressed and stored in cylinder. So this uh, natural gas is mainly, it is a gaseous state, it is compressed in cylinders and it is a clean burning fuel. We are using less emission of carbon dioxide and it is colorless, orderless. That purpose, we are adding some additives, uh, mainly used for leakage, leak detection purpose. We are adding some uh, additives like mercaptan and high energy content. So it is a high energy density. That's why we prefer more different applications, various application point of view. We are using this uh, compressed natural gas and it is lighter than air. So it is easily disappears rapidly and reducing the risk of accumulation in confined spaces. So what are the applications of compressed natural gas? So it is used as a vehicle fuel. It is used as a vehicle fuel. So this compressed natural gas is widely used as a fuel for vehicles. It is used as a uh, vehicle fuel, uh, fuel for vehicles, especially in the uh, buses, taxis, and fleet vehicles. We prefer most of the CNG, compressed natural gas. And it is considered as an alternative to gasoline and diesel and reduced emissions. So, just now we discussed already, it produces less emission of carbon dioxide compared to uh, liquid fuels like gasoline or petrol. That's why most of the metro cities, they are using this CNG vehicles because they protect from uh, pollution, do not uh, produce any harmful uh, like carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases. That's why we, they prefer this uh, CNG vehicles instead of gasoline and diesel because it produces less emission of carbon dioxide. And in the industrial process, so CNG is just utilized in various industrial applications such as heating, manufacturing process and power generation. It is used in uh, industrial purpose such as heating, manufacturing process and also used for power generation purpose, electricity generation purpose also we are using this compressed natural gas. And residential use. So in, in some regions, CNG is used for residential heat, heating, that means cooking, either directly through conversion kits. Simply we say it is used for cooking, heating in, resident, in our residential areas we are using and commercial places also we are using. And power generation, it can be used in power plants to generate electricity, providing a cleaner energy option. And next, agricultural applications. So CNG used in agriculture for tasks such as a crop drying and uh, powering farm equipment. We are using this uh, CNG in agriculture also. And next one, marine applications. So the CNG is being explored as a fuel for certain marine vessels as a part of efforts to reduce emissions in the shipping industry. In shipping industry also we prefer. So this compressive natural gas, it is similar to natural gas. We are stored in uh, uh, cylinders, compressed in cylinder. That is the main difference between natural gas and uh, compressed natural gas. Remaining all are similar to natural gas only. So generally it is used as a vehicle fuel because it produces uh, less emission of carbon dioxide. So most of the metro cities, they are preferred, they are using the CNG vehicles because do not produce any harmful gases uh, compared to liquid fuels like petrol or diesel, etc. And it is used in various industrial applications also. Uh, for example, heating, manufacturing power process and power generation purpose we are using in industries. And also used in residential purpose, cooking, heating, etc. And also used in power generation 
So the, we are using the CNG in power plants to generate electricity. So it would be providing a cleaner energy option and also used in agriculture. Uh, agriculture we are using for crop drying and uh, powering farm equipment. That purpose we preferred in agriculture also and also used in marine applications. So in this session, we will learn about what is gaseous sphere. In this gaseous spheres, we discussed about what are the characteristics, applications of uh, natural gas, compressed natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas. So I hope understood all. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.